people want to know where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Carmen San Diego. Yep, yep. Baden Baden. Yep. Baden Baden. Oh, oh. And one of these people yeah. could find her. Meet today's gumshoes yeah. Michael Allard, yeah. Katie Hayes, yeah. and Stephen Remind. Today's episode, The Torch Song. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits. Please welcome yeah. Phil Vaughn. Hey. Oh, not quite. Welcome once again, Carmen San Diego. Can you believe it? She's done it. They have committed another really bad act against humanity, and we're going to find out the names of the people who hopefully are going to capture her this time. First of all, down the end there, we've got Michael Allard. Michael, how are you? Good, thanks. Good man. Now, do you play any instruments or anything like that? I play the trumpet and the piano. How long have you been learning the trumpet for? Five years. How are you supposed to blow a trumpet? <laughs> not supposed to puff out your cheeks or anything. So it's not like that? No. All right, well, I promise I won't blow a trumpet like that next time. Cool. Okay. Next we have got Katie. Katie Hayes. Now, Katie, what do you like doing in your spare time? Well, my main hobby is tap dancing, and I do it competitively um, in competitions all around Wellington. Really? Tap dancing? Yeah. Ever drowned in the sink? <laughs> have you um, won any competitions or done really well and things like that? Um, yes, I have. Um, in the August holidays, I went down to Nelson for a dancing competition, and I won my wall, so I got a big cut for that. All right. Good stuff, Katie. Excellent. Well, we hope you can do just as well here. And the next man we have got, Stephen Romine. Stephen, tell me, what's the main thing you enjoy doing in your life? Oh, playing sport most of the time, playing cricket. Yeah, what do you normally do in cricket? Are you? Oh, opening batter and a spin bowler. Yeah, Who's your, who would be your, who do you model your spin after? Are you a bit of a, bit of a Shane Warne man? Oh, no, I'll come more like Tim May. Yeah, Tim May, yeah, that's right. He's a good man to learn off too. Yep. All right. Now, someone else who has been absolutely fantastic for me to learn off throughout my life is the Chief. Chief? Oh, Chief. <laughs> Chief, what's wrong? What's the story? My mentor. Oh, Phil, it's getting to me. Carmen. Oh, oh, Chief, don't worry about it. Look, please, look. Just get on with the case. We'll make an extra hard effort today and we'll see if we can sort it out. I promise I'm going to work overtime. I will, I promise. Oh, thanks, Phil. It's all right. Oh. So glad he fell for that. It's about time he worked a little bit harder. OK. Gumshoes, Carmen San Diego and a gang of crooks have pulled another caper. This time they hit New York Harbor, where the Statue of Liberty has stood as an icon of America for generations of immigrants traveling to the US. Until this morning, when Eartha Brute scaled Lady Liberty and toppled her torch. She plans to use it as a symbol of the Brute Olympics, her savage version of the Olympiad, which includes such games as Brawnathon, the car put and the mud wrestling. Keep your eyes peeled for Eartha Brute, an underdeveloped mind trapped in an overdeveloped Eartha body. Your mission, gumshoes, unearth Eartha, return the torch to the hand of Lady Liberty, and then capture Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Phil. Thanks, Chief. We'll do it. Seeing the Chief like that has just made me feel like I'm going through torch. Cha. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Points. What you're going to do is every correct answer you get, we'll give you 10 more, and then the two of you with the highest score will move on to the next round. Chief, wipe those teary eyes and let's get started. The first stop on Earth's Marathon was the home of the Lumberjack World Championship. The contest included competitions in chopping, soaring, speed climbing, log throwing, axe throwing, and my personal favourite, canoe jousting. Sounds like the place for Eartha, all right. It takes place in a Wisconsin town about 20 kilometres south of Lake Superior. Phil. Thank you, Chief. All right, gumshoes. To which Wisconsin town did Eartha take that torch? Was it Sheboygan, Madison or Hayward? Don't forget those clues. Lumberjack World Championship, 40 miles south of Lake Superior. Where you go, Katie. Good stuff. Michael? I chose Madison. Madison, Katie? I chose Madison. Madison, Stephen? I chose, I chose Haywood. Haywood? Haywood is right. 
Well done, Stephen. There we go. That means you've got 10 points, which takes you into the lead at 60. But that's OK, because you guys can get a bit of a chance to click in, because now the people who work overtime, very hard workers, alongside of Chief, are Acme Bugnet. And they've got a phone recording, phone recording of a conversation. Here we go. I still can't find a stadium big enough to hold my games. Take the torch to one of my favorite capitals in Eastern Europe, home to great writers like Kafka, great composers like Dvorak, great... Uh, Carmen, what about my games? Ah, yes, your games. Well, the world's largest open stadium is located there. And while you're at it, try to hire Martina Navratilova. She was born in this city. Who's she? The tennis champion, one of the biggest money winners in women's sports. Don't you read the paper? Only the comics. Oh. Gumshoes, name the Czechoslovakian capital. Is it Prague, Warsaw, or Zagreb? Don't forget those clues. Eastern Europe, Martina Navratilova, and the world's largest open stadium. <laughs> Michael, how'd you go? I chose Warsaw. Warsaw, Katie? Warsaw. Warsaw and Stephen? Warsaw. Warsaw, it was Prague. <laughs> Bad luck. None of you guys got any points there, but that's okay because points they are a coming as they always do in the lightning round. I like doing that, but that's good fun. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you three questions. The first one on the buzzer with the right answer will get five crime points. This little pest infests most of Tanzania, Tanzania's mainland, inhibiting the production of livestock. Is it a fruit fly, a gypsy moth, or a tetsi? Michael? A gypsy moth. A gypsy moth? No. One of you guys want to have a crack? A fruit fly or a tetsi? Katie? Um, a tetsi. A tetsi, that's right. Well done. Well picked up on those clues there, Katie. We'll just keep that between you and I. No one else will know about it. It's all right. Next question. The highest point in Tanzania is also the highest point in Africa. Is this mountain called Everest, Kilimanjaro, or the Matterhorn? Stephen? Uh, the Matterhorn. No, it's not the Matterhorn. Michael? Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is right. Five points to you. Last question. Kusumbua is a popular food in Tanzania and through much of East Africa. Is Kitambua fried chicken, fried goat, or fried bread? Stephen? Fried goat. Fried goat, no it's not. Michael? Fried bread. Fried bread is right. Well done, so that means that Michael, at the end of that round, you've got 60, Katie, you've got 55, and Stephen, you've got 60 points. What's going on there? There's a bit of noise going on, we'll just go have a look. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Hey! Yeah, no, it does, it does. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? What's, what's the word on the street? Hang on a minute. The word on the street is Tane Mah Mahuta. Yeah, Tane Mahuta. Hey, isn't that the god of the forest? Yeah, come by, you got it right. Oh, all right. right. Tane Mahuta, god of the forest. Hey, apparently Earth is, um, she shot through northwest of Dargaville up in Northland. Oh, yeah. She's like looking for Tane Mahuta. She got bored with using the torch from the Statue of Liberty. Oh. Thought she'd take a rare tree instead. Oh, really? Do you know it's like 1,200 years old? What, the and tree? It's, yep, 51.5 metres high and it's 13.7 metres wide. To make a kind of a tree, eh? That's a massive tree. Yeah. Just as well, you guys are in our special branch. Thanks very much, guys. Make like a tree and leave, Phil. Oh. All right, gumshoes. Now, you've got to name where the tree is, all right? Is it in Waipuakari Forest, Ashley Forest, or Peel Forest? Don't forget those clues. Northwest of Dargaville, a rare tree known as Tane Mahuta, or God of the Forest. Lock in your answers. Away you go, Katie. Quick as you can. Good stuff. Michael. Why? Waipua Kauri Forest. <laughs> Katie. Waipua Forest. Waipua Kauri Forest. And Stephen. Waipua Forest. Waipua Kauri Forest. You're all right. <laughs> well done. You all got points there. So that means now that Michael, you're on 70. Katie, you're on 65. And Stephen, you're on 70 as well. You guys are tied up. It's all pretty close though. Very, very close scores, and now this is the chance where we could separate those scores because this is the final clue of this round. What happens here is you decide how much you want to risk. 
If you're right, we're going to add it to your score, but if you're wrong, we're going to subtract it. Now, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 crime points. And here's a look at the part of the world where they have headed to. So if you think you know this area quite well, you might want to risk a lot. But if you don't know it very well, you mightn't want to risk anything. Think about it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It's time to bring in once again my favourite Acme agent, Hank the Stool Pigeon. Hank. Hey, Hanky. Want some food? There we go. Good on your Hanky. Stuff. Phil. Phil. What? The bird's been dead for six years. It's not dead. Don't you listen to them, Hank. What was that? Hey? Hmm? You've seen Eartha headed to blackjack tables in Las Vegas in the western USA. Huh? See? Told Phil. me a clue. He didn't say anything. He did say something. Shh. What was that? You've seen Eartha also in Virginia City. Uh, it's famous. Uh, Chief, bet you don't even know what it's famous for. No, Phil. Maybe you could ask Hank to tell you. All right, I will then. Hank, why is it famous? Because it's the most preserved ghost town in the Old West. Uh-huh. And it was famous because it was made its boom in the American desert in, nine, in 1859 because of the gold rush. Great. All right. Thank you, Hank. Get on you. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, Hank the Talking Pigeon! <laughs> All right, Gumshoes, here we go. Where do you think Eartha has gone? Is it Montana, Nevada, or California? Don't forget those clues we got from Hank. Las Vegas, Virginia City and the Gold Rush, Great American Desert. <laughs> Michael? Whew. Big question time. How much did you risk? I didn't risk anything. You didn't risk anything? Oh, Michael, that could work against you. But what's your answer? California. California, no, that's not right. So you didn't lose anything there anyway. Katie? Um, I risked 10 points. You risked 10? And what was your answer? Montana. Montana, no, that's not right either. Stephen, how much did you risk? I risked nothing. You didn't risk anything either. So what was your answer? Uh, Montana. Montana, no, that wasn't right. The correct answer was Nevada. But that's okay, because that means that the scores, Michael, you've got 70, Stephen, you've got 70, and Katie, you've got 55. But you were a great detective. Your luck ran out, and I loved your glasses, too. Thanks. <laughs> Chief, what have we got for Katie? Katie, we like triers, and for you, it's our official Carmen Sandiego T-shirt and the Collins World Atlas to help you on your next journey. Thanks for your good work on this case. I salute you. Well, we're off to the USA, and so... We'll find the torch and bring it back And capture Carmen, too Where in the world is... Carmen San Diego Take a conservative to become a puppy sponsor Yeah, yeah Baden, baden Yeah Baden, baden oh, oh. Welcome back Well, we here at Acme headquarters have an assignment for you Our detectives in training at home which Wisconsin town did Eartha Brute first escape with a Liberty Torch in today's case? Was it Sheboygan, Madison or Haywood? Write to us here at Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 1945 Christchurch. Put your name and address and your answer on the back of an envelope and send it to us. We'll put you in the draw for this Carmen San Diego board game. So go to it. Thanks, Chief. All right, Gumshoes. Now, Eartha Brute has taken the Liberty Torch and is hiding out somewhere in Nevada, USA. We've got to go there, find her, and bring it back. But before we do that, because you guys were tied up in the last round, we're going to have to toss the old Acme coin. So you call Carmen's or Acme's. Stephen, you call first. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Yeah. Michael can go first. Really? Yep. What a guy! Do you play all your sport this fair? No. Oh, what a man. We play fair, though, too, because we never, ever, ever send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief? Here's the scoop on Nevada. Nevada is one of the mountain states of the United States and is often called the Silver State. Once a mining frontier, the introduction of gambling has made it a tourism mecca. Now, those reliable folks down at Photo Recon have put together a few picks. Las Vegas, the largest city in Nevada, as well as the chief tourist attraction. It thrives on hotels for hours. 
Valley of Fire State Park, the largest state park and one of the most spectacular. Its red sandstone is from the Jurassic period and erosion has carved it into a series of fantastic shapes. Well, that's Nevada gumshoes. It's time to head into the field. But remember the Acme Triangle of Excellence. Vigilance, dedication, courage. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Later. All right, Michael and Stephen, we're off to Nevada. Now, here are all the places where you might find the loot and the warrant for Earth of Brutes arrest. What you've got to do, you've got to choose one of these, and if you get the loot, that means that you can move on to get the warrant. And once you've got the warrant, that means you can arrest the crook who is Earth of Brutes. So if you get the loot, the warrant, and the crook, then that means you get the chance to move on and capture Carmen San Diego. We tossed before. But you forfeited, Stephen. You are a good sport, and so, Michael, that means you have the first go. Choose any one of these. If you get the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn. Why you go? Boulder Dam. Boulder Dam. <coughs> Doing nothing there. Uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas for Stephen. No, Michael. Snake Ray. Snake Range. Snake Range. <coughs> No, nothing there. Uh, Caesar's Palace. The loot. Oh, Caesar's Palace has got the loot. Stephen, where you go again? Valley of Fire State Park. Valley of Fire State Park. You got the crook. Now, you want the warrant in the middle, you see, so you might want to forfeit a turn yeah, here. Yeah, I'll forfeit. You'll forfeit? OK. Michael? Um, Caesar's Palace. The loot. Caesar's Palace. Boundary Peak. What was that song? Oh, you got it there. No, Boundary Peak, nothing there. Right. Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace, we want the warrant. They're on the trail. Virginia City. Virginia City. Dying. Nothing there. Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace. Um, India Springs. India Indian Springs. Springs. No, nothing there. Uh, Caesar's Palace. Yep. Humboldt River. Humboldt River. Dying. Caesar's Palace. Yep. Nellis Air Force Range. Yeah, hey. Yeah. Valley of Fire State Park. You've done it! All right, Michael, you're the one. Come on over here. Come on over here, Michael. It's you, it's you. Here we go. There's the chain. Pull the cord. Put Earth a Brute behind bars. Great stuff. You put her behind bars. Well done. Stephen, you're a champion as well because you almost put her behind bars and you tracked her halfway across the world, so we've got something very special for you. Chief? Stephen, for you, we have our official Carmen San Diego T-shirt and the Collins World Atlas. And to help you on your next journey, two cameras from Kodak. You're covered with the wet weather and the flash cameras. Great work, Stephen. I salute you. Well done, Michael. You did it. You put it behind bars, and Carmen's watching, so let her know how you feel. What is that? Say, Carmen, I'm coming to get you. Go on. Carmen, I'm coming to get you. San Diego. I've out now on CD and cassette. Yeah, yeah. Baden, baden. Yeah. Baden, baden. Oh, oh. Baden, baden. Well, hey, yeah. Michael, you did really well because you put Earth the Brute behind bars, but Carmen San Diego, do you think you can get her? Yeah. I hope you do, because if you do, the Chief's got something special, haven't you, Chief? We certainly have. If you do, Michael, we have for you from Dick Smith Electronics gift vouchers to the value of $300. So go to it. Well, it's not far to go down. Philippe. Yeah. It is Dominique. Bonjour, Dominique. Bonjour, ça va? Oh, comment ça va? Très bien, très bien. Listen to me carefully. I will only say this once. Uh -huh. I have some vital information from my father. Carmen has been taken from her soiree by a Swahili street sweeper. You will go after her, huh? This is a good clue, because right. I am very angry. What are you no, angry am... about? No, I'm not angry, you stupido. I am angry, angry. I want a big baguette and some pinot. Oh, and food. Some... All right, we'll oui, see what oui. we can get there. Uh, see, we'll du... see what we can get. Merci, merci. Swahili. Where's Swahili from? Africa. Africa. Well, Michael, looks like you and I are going to Africa. It's pretty hot there, so we better slip, slap, slap. Well, I think you're right, Squire. Michael, here's a list of places Carmen may have travelled. Mali, Ghana, Nigeria, Congo, Zambia, Mozambique, Tanzania, Kenya, Cameroon, and Saudi Arabia. Phil, take Michael to the map. <laughs> All right, 
Carmichael, well, we're here. And now what you have to do is track Carmen through 10 different countries. You've got to put a marker on each country that you find. And if you get it right, you're going to hear this. <coughs> and if you get it wrong, you're going to hear this. Now, you've got 45 seconds to get seven countries. So if you get stuck on one country for more than two goes, just move on. Don't worry about it, all right? Good man. Come over here now, because we're going to get you your first marker. Here's your first marker. The clock is just about ready. First place to go to is Saudi Arabia. Where you go, Michael? Well done, good luck. Cameroon. Cameroon. Kenya. Tanzania. Tanzania. Go to Tanzania. No, that's not it, Michael. Try again. That's not it either. Come over here. Mozambique. Mozambique. Go, Michael. Well done, there's four countries. Zambia. Zambia. Go, Michael. Go, keep it going. That's not it. Try again. Try again. That's not it. Come here, come here, come here. Congo. Congo. Go as fast as you can. That's it. Nigeria. Nigeria. Go, Michael. Go. Michael, you're a great detective, and we're all proud of you here at Acme Crime Net. And we have something that you'll like. It's our Carmen Sandiego T-shirt, the Collins World Atlas, and the Ungawa Swatch Watch, which will keep you looking good and on time when you're next out sleuthing. Thanks for your good work on this case. I salute you. Well done, Michael. You almost got there. You just slipped. You slipped at the last bit, and if you hadn't, maybe you might have got there, but you did really well anyway. There's only one thing left that we've got to get you to do now. You know what that is, of course. Do it, chemistry boys! Well, she snakes around the world from Beijing to Carolina. Use that sticky fingered filter from Berlin down to Belize. Well, she'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world. Thanks, New Zealand, for helping me catch Earth a Brute. Good one. Plenty of surprises.